Linux Mint 20 with the Matei desktop. And we're going to be looking at these little uh, previews we get here. I quite like them, however, they don't line up very well. They sort of follow the mouse. So if the mouse sort of comes down into the center, then they center fairly well. But if you come on from the side, you can see that it's not very well aligned. I'll show you how to turn it off and how to get it using Compiz if you want to go down the Compiz path and a little bit of discussion about Compiz when we get to that uh, part of the video. Now between the green of the welcome screen button and the Firefox icon is a little uh, dark area there. You can right click in there and go to preferences. Brings up this little little box here and here it is hide thumbnails on hover so let's go there and go close and now there's no thumbnails so again we'll right click in here again we'll go to preferences and we'll show the thumbnails and there they are we get the thumbnails again so we're going to turn it off go to close now to get the window previews back we will go into the control center and we've got desktop settings and windows change marco compositing to compiz you'll see we've lost all our uh, title bars so we'll go back into the control center we'll start the compiz settings manager now we need opengl enable composite so there's those two there that have just been activated and we'll scroll down a little bit here and here's window decoration so we'll select that and now I've got the uh, the title bars back I still can't actually move the windows so we'll come down further and here it is here down the very bottom move window we'll select that and now we can move the windows if you want to have the previews when you hover over the buttons on the panel we come back up a little bit here thumbnail window previews so we'll select that and enable mouse polling and now we should get a little preview there courtesy of compiz and you can configure that a little bit in here uh, if we wanted a, a nice red surround around it we change the color deselect here we should get a red border I found that if we change this value here to around 185 seems to be about the same size as the actual button itself on my system one other thing to note is currently the file manager is minimized so it won't actually give us a preview here uh, comp is will because it's on the screen so we're not getting a preview for the minimized window so we'll restore it and we'll get a preview and so forth so it's a little bit different than the effect out of the mate panel itself however they are lined up better as you can see there in the mate panel or in comp is they're not functional in any way they just give a preview is all they do. I just want to touch on a couple of things to do with Compiz in version 20 of Linux Mint and if we come here into the preferences there's normally where it says default there there's normally one called Mint and that doesn't seem to be present and the back end is this flat file and normally it's running this G settings so if I change to G settings we're probably going to lose our previews now we have so it's like it's running on a different uh, profile so we'll change this back to the flat file and I should get the preview again so the comp is settings are working that we've enabled I did try importing a file off a Linux Mint 19.3 system that I had and then going to um, G settings and it did work but there's obviously been some changes whether it's in Linux Mint 20 or in Compiz I don't know um, but that's just what I've found thus far with a, 
a little bit of a experimentation. So that, that the desktop's usable there. We've still got our little previews. They line up a little bit better here in Compiz than what they do in the um, the Make panel. And I'll be doing a video a little bit later on uh, showing all the settings that I know of, of Compiz on a Linux Mint 20 system. But I just wanted to touch base there about the the panel previews and a couple of little things there about Compiz. So we shall leave it there for now. Of course, if you don't want to, you can always go back and change back to Marco and Compositing. And you can right click down in here and go to your preferences and show the thumbnails on hover. And now we should be pretty much back to the default configuration for the system.